Hi, this is Paul, and I'm going to name this video The Great Pyramid with Eight Sides from the Duo 5 Vector System. In my last video, I showed how the Great Pyramid could come from the Duo 5 Vector System, and I showed some of these measurements for the pyramid. Now, if you need more info on measurements, go to Sacred Geometry Decoded. SGD. I'm giving you some info in yellow. Now SGD reveals that the four faces are actually split into two to make eight faces. And my friend from Australia says that the indentation is about 31 inches on each face. So I've decided to change the faces and put this little indentation in and let's see what we've got now this indentation is so small you can hardly see it and even using a CAD program it's very difficult you have to zoom right in and it's just a little small measurement so I needed to make the faces two different shades of color because with one color you never see the difference okay now we'll take a look at this geometry and now I'm showing the dodeca with the eight sides and the icosser and dodeca outlines all around it. First of all, let's get rid of the dodeca outlines. Now you see that we've got two vectors lining up with the pink face of the pyramid. Now let's take a look at the dodeca geometry. Now you can see that the dodeca vectors don't actually line up with the edges of the pyramid but we have a dodeca rectangle with the diagonal vectors lining up with the face of the pyramid. And you can see that the yellow center line, the geometry runs perfectly, splitting the two faces. Now this doesn't stop there. We have a second plane running vertical to the last plane. So now it's plain to see that the geometry lines up perfectly splitting the pyramid face. So I think the Egyptians were trying to show that the face of the pyramid could show the dual vectors of the icosa and the dodeca. Now they couldn't show it on a flat face so they indented it just a small little just to show that vector. Okay so now I'll bring all the geometry back for the both icosa and dodeca. Now all this geometry lines up to one face. Now the same geometry can be produced on each face. So I believe they're trying to say that there are four dimensions. Now I've done a little bit of research on this. I tried putting all the dimensions together, but it didn't seem symmetrical. But maybe somebody else can take a look at this and do a bit of research. I've decided to put this anim in the top view also, so you can take a look at that. You can also see as it's turning around that it splits two faces at a time. Now these people that say that everything can be shown with mathematical equations, how they can see all this is a load of tosh. Now I'll take you back to the front view again, because I thought it would be a good idea to show you where the cube comes into this geometry. But the dodeca is actually a nest of five cubes but one cube will do for what I want to show you. Now I show that the dodeca edge over the cube edge is equal to 0 0.6185. Now I show all the measurements for the dual rectangles in my previous video about the Great Pyramid. So we'll give it another little spin around and you can see that this geometry is all interrelated. And it starts with a cube size 1, which I got 100, and it just keeps all going up and up and up. And it's just like when you throw a stone into a pond, the rings keep growing bigger and bigger. I guess I can't please all the people that want things in two dimension, but this is Paul saying thank you very much for watching my video.